am I here? Okay, so welcome to the first week of our group counseling session for couples living with codependency in their relationships. I'm Francis. Why am I here? There is nothing wrong with us. A little bit about me. After my Touch is too soft. And my wife ran off with my brother to Idaho. Um, I decided that uh, I needed to have a new direction. We're okay. So There's nothing. There's wrong. nothing wrong. There's nothing you wrong. To renew your prescription again, Angela. Calm down. Calm down. This couch is too. Goddamn soft! I hate this coach! But it's really not about me, it's about okay. you. Okay, names. Alright, so we're gonna just. Lily, Harvey, Harry, Sherry, Gretchen, Sarge. Lily, Harvey, Harry, Sherry, Gretchen, Sarge. Over the next little while, we're Francis. gonna get back to that place where you first fell in love. Dan. 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 And uh, why don't we start with. Uh, What's with the flaps, Dan? What's with the flaps, Dan. Tell me, how has your week been? Well, I've had a rough week. It's tax season, so work was pretty relentless. I don't know. I was in kind of a fog most of the time. That's because you forgot to renew your prescription again, Dan. Can I speak? Dan, are, are you okay with I that? I feel disappointment and frustration every day around Dan. I feel like my life is defined by his thoughtlessness. He never honors my feelings or my needs. He just wants to get his needs met like a little boy. Well, Mary, I told him three days before that he I needed was... to take out the garbage, and he just... Well, the garbage is a huge he issue. He didn't even think about it. He... I had to take out three well, Mary, loads no, Mary, of garbage Mary, by we myself. Need to let Dan speak and two now, days ago, we? he couldn't I mean... leave for work because he lost his keys, well, we... and I Mary, just we... feel it so... It was a garbage day. No. Disappointed. It's, it's, it's very frustrating. Dan. I understand so, that, Mary. So, I tried Mary. to him. Mary, I try to point we need to let Dan speak. Stop! Things. I'm sorry. 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 I'm what sorry. the fuck, Dan? I'm sorry. Are you I'm always sorry. like sorry. this? That was a wonderful counseling session. I feel so good being able to talk about this to other people. Dan, are you... Why do you ignore me when I'm trying to help you? Why do you always let me down? Did you even think about paying the tax bill yesterday? Oh, don't worry. I paid it myself today. You just think that everything's wonderful. Why can't you stretch even a little? You... You're not listening! <laughs> you just don't... What has happened to us, my songbird? Oh, Dan. Mary, are you okay? Dear. Mary, are, are you okay? I have to go away, Dan. I have to go. No, no, no. No, 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 Songbird. No, no. Don't go. Please don't go. It's, it, it's okay. It's, it's okay. 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 I'm lost, Songbird. Dan, welcome back. It's been a while since we last saw you. How are you? I'm... okay. And... Mary? Mary is gone for a while. And I really don't know when she'll be back. There's a theme of loss in this room here. A uh, theme and variations. Maybe more like a fugue. Yeah, some beautiful polyphonic piece of marital tragedy. Um, Dan, are you... It'll be all right, Angela. All right. All right. All right. Be all right. Be all right. Wow. Dan, what's happened to you? I'm lost, somewhere.
You hear the window fan, the cat's paw prints, and for the first time in 15 years, you see music in your head. Come again, sweet love doth now invite thy graces, that refrain to do me due delight, to see, to hear, to touch, to kiss, to die with thee again. In sweetest sympathy. That's really nice. <laughs> you study your left arm. You have to laugh because it's from you. And it is God. And you know that you will never part with it. Hello, cowboy. Why are you here? I've come to feed the cat. <laughs> Who are you, Mary Bolin Rutherford? Mommy. Mommy. I knew this since I was three years old. And I was meant to be the mother of incredibly beautiful children. And then I married Dan when I was 26. Your beautiful cowboy. My beautiful cowboy. I had underdeveloped ovaries, and they pumped me with three kinds of fertility drugs. But they only ruined my thyroid gland and turned me into a misshapen sphere. And this goddamn fucking body of mine. I remain infertile forever forever but over the next 25 years dan made a gift to you the woman he loved his songbird to comfort your relentless howling grief so that he could shrivel into something small that you could hold and cradle and scold, and scold. My dad. Help me, man. Help me, man. A gift as profound and beautiful as this cannot easily be taken back to my beautiful, 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 beautiful. Never that quickly. But you gave me something too. Chartreuse, magenta, these colors are mine now. You were the first person to tell me that it would be all right. My son, my son. Like a drug, it'll be like wild. I used to try in my way to be free.